Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome and thank you for visiting me. Please subscribe so that you can join me on future videos. If you're a 60, existing subscriber, welcome back and thank you for joining me again and I do appreciate your support. Today's video is going to be on the Bad Habit Solstice Palette and you can find this palette on the Shop Hush website and they do have some amazing um, palettes in there. I bought quite a few of them and I'm going to be reviewing one every week so that uh, I can give you an in-depth you know, review as to what I really think about the palette. So I used this one this whole week. I started on Monday and I used it through today. Today is Saturday. So that's six days of making different looks with it. Um, I even put a different palette in my box so that I, in my weekly makeup box in case I didn't like this one, but I didn't have to use the other palette because I was really happy with this one. So today's look, this is what I came up with. I think it's very pretty. It looks like a sunset. And it's maybe some people would think it's more of a fall look, but I use my shadows however I want. I don't go by the seasons. Um, Sometimes lipsticks more than that. I try to use more bright lipsticks in the summer, but really I use whatever I'm in the mood for. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is set my primer, my eye primer. This palette really doesn't have um, a shadow, like a beige shadow that I can do that with. So I'm just going to use one from this Tarte palette, which is one of my favorite palettes, but it's no longer available, so I'm not going to really show you guys a lot. But um, just any kind of, you know, beige or almost white shadow would work okay let me move my mirror a little closer so that I don't have to be turning my head so much alright so um, we're going to start with I think I'm going to start with this color down here in my crease and this is called spring and it's like a light peach the lighting is not the best today we're having a very cloudy day and I um, I use natural lighting so I hope the video is all right but I haven't been able to post a video all week it's been a crazy week and I haven't had time to do much of anything after work so I wanted to go ahead and get this done today and I'm hoping that um, tomorrow I'll be able to pre-film a couple of videos for the week it's kind of hard for me to do anything during the week so this color is really very very nice there's really not that much kick up in these shadows or, um, you know, I really don't have like any shadow on my cheek. So I think it's a great, great palette. So I'm going to go with a little darker shade. I'm going to use this one that is called Fall. And it's like a, just a little bit darker just to darken up my crease a little. Um, I used this palette yesterday. Actually, I've been using it all week because I really wanted to test it out before I did the um, the video. And my four-year-old granddaughter was here. And she loves to play with makeup. And she wanted to put makeup on me. So I let her because I wasn't going to go anywhere else. You know, once I picked her up from school, um, that was all the outings I was going to have yesterday. So I let her play. And she's so funny. She's so gentle with the shadows because I told her, I said, you have to be gentle or, you know, they're going to break. So she only does like the little tip of the, uh, the brush. And she used like these colors over here on me, like the, the gold and the yellow. And uh, she said she wanted to make me look like Barbie. And, and the look when I, when I was finished, it actually blended really well with the colors I already had going. And my eyes didn't look bad. I mean, I actually could go out and you know rock the look if I needed to go out but she's so funny she wants to make sure that when she grows up I share my makeup with her <laughs> I love that age I love the innocence the unconditional love okay so this is with the two shadows so I'm now I'm going to try to use something a little darker 
So I'm going to go with Earth, and it's this color right here, and it's very, very pretty. It's um, it's a brown, but it kind of has like a little bit of a, a little bit of orange, I guess, in it. So I just want to darken the outer V and a little bit of the crease. I'm not gonna do a super hard look. This um, this palette is definitely worth the money. Um, you know, it's only the regular price is sixteen dollars, and you can't go wrong. I mean, there's so little fallout, and even with the best palettes, you have fallout, and the the shadows stay on all day. They're very easy to blend. I really do like it. I think it's a great, great value. So this is just a clean brush that I'm just kind of blending everything together. So I definitely think it's worth the money. And I purchased mine even cheaper. They always run um, sales. And when I bought it, instead of $16, it was only $12. So you can't beat that. And, you know, the uh, shipping was free. Because if you get the app, if you spend $30, it's free shipping. And... I received my palettes on you know pretty quickly. It wasn't like you know slow shipping or anything, so I'm very very happy with it. So that's the one eye. Let's, so let's work on the other one. But all of the shades, I mean, I really had not used the um, the yellow or that gold that my granddaughter used yesterday, but it actually looked pretty nice. Tap out a little bit. I kind of grabbed too much shadow there. Where is my powder brush? That was my fault. I, they're very soft shadows, so you have to just lightly tap it. And I kind of went a little hard on the palette. So that was totally user error. It wasn't the shadow's fault. But this is very pretty. I would totally recommend it. I have other palettes that I purchased from them and I'm going to test another one next week and then I'll give you guys a a review next weekend but I think that's the best way I don't really like to do um, you know first impressions because I mean sometimes it may look beautiful the first time and it could be sometimes in, in a sh palette that has you know 16 colors or 12 colors you may only get a few that are nice so this one seems to be pretty consistent so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup on the uh, on the outside I went a little too far on the edge here and I really don't like to do that I like to kind of keep it I think my eyes look better if I don't go too far out but this is definitely worth the money I would highly highly recommend it Okay, now I think I'm going to throw a little bit of that gold that my granddaughter used yesterday because I really like that that look. I think she discovered something for me. Don't be afraid to use color. Look how pretty. Kind of makes it look like a sunset. See? It's very pretty. And this one's called Sol which is sun in Spanish, sol. It's beautiful. Very, very pretty. So I'm not doing it with the finger because if I use you, whenever you use a finger, it's a little more intense. And I really wanted to just give it a little, um, just a little wash of color. I don't want, really want my eyes to be super yellow or gold, but this is a very pretty shade. I am going out to dinner later, but I don't want it to be super crazy. So I'm going to blend that in. Very pretty shade. And now I'm going to take um, this one right here that is called Rays and put it on the rest of my lid. And I am going to use the finger on this one. And then I'll just blend it in. Look at that pigment. You definitely get the payoff. The payoff on these colors and the quality is amazing, guys. I think I picked up the wrong brush. 
very very pretty I lost a little bit of that gold so let's put it back in there before I blend now I'm gonna blend a little so it's not so harsh I think that's pretty okay let's do the gold on this side let's put a little more of that yellow in the middle sol nice name it does kind of look like the sun Okay, for my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to do the earth color. And I'm just going to do it very, very lightly. First of all, let me make sure everything is wiped. But very, very little uh, fallout. And it's very seldom that I find a palette, even high-end, that has... That's a little fallout of this one. I'm sorry, I'm, I think you weren't able to see what I was doing. But I'm just doing a little bit on of that earth color on my lower, my lower lid. So I think I'm done with that. So now I'm going to just retouch my eyebrows really quick. I did them ahead of time. I did um, most of my makeup. The only thing that I left was um, the eyeshadows and a couple of products that I received in my BoxyCharm that I'm going to use to finish the look. I, basically, I usually do my brows after I'm done with my shadows. It's one of the last steps that I do, but just to save some time. I decided to do it first this time. I am going to use my eye gel and this is the uh, NYX Control Freak. I just got my eyebrows tinted and shaped on Friday, no Thursday. And I had it done at Ulta at the Benefit Brow Bar. And they do a great job over there. I really do enjoy going there. So now I'm going to do mascara. And I am using the um, Monsieur Big by Lancome. And this is in black, of course. And this is just a deluxe sample that I have. I love the Lancome. Um, well, I don't really care for the Difficils. I think is what it's called. That one doesn't really do much for my lashes. So, um... You know, some people do love it, but it just doesn't do, my lashes just don't, they don't curl, they don't, you can't really see them. But I love the Hypnos Drama, and this one is a good one. This one is a really good one. But the Hypnos Drama is one of my favorite eyeshadows, I mean, mascaras. I'm lucky that my uh, lashes have quite a bit of curl, so I really don't have to use uh, an eye eyelash curler. So see, that's just with one coat. We say one coat, but we go over the lashes quite a few times, don't we? It's just not like one swipe. But if I don't do that, then nothing would show up. But this is nice. And it doesn't uh, flake or smudge. It does last all day. And when you wash it at night, it comes off pretty easily with a makeup remover. So it's definitely a nice one. I have a couple of uh, 
<clears throat> deluxe samples. I don't have a full size. I didn't want to get a full size because um, I usually use the Lancome, the Hypnos Drama, or the Essence Princess Mascara. Those are the two that I use the most. I just got some mascara on my lower lid. It wouldn't my look wouldn't be complete with a with a mascara somewhere on my face that you know, besides my lashes. Ow. And on my finger. What a mess. Oh my gosh, here we go. See? So we will let that dry. Okay, so this is the eye look that I came up with. I think it's very pretty. Um, it's very fall-like, but I think it's beautiful. So I don't really go by the seasons. I wear whatever color I want. So now I'm gonna finish the face with the products that I received from Pure. And I'm going to use, I received the Pure Sculpture Palette. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of shiny. But it brings contour, um, bronzer, and two highlighters. Now, I really don't contour, so I hope that I don't, I don't end up regretting this because they are pretty dark. I'm going to use a brush that I also received from BoxyCharm, and this is a face powder brush. So I'm going to use the lighter of the two, which is still pretty dark, and I'm going to use it as a bronzer. And I'm going to go very lightly. If I go too dark, it's just going to look like my face is dirty. And I don't want that. The brush is very nice. It's kind of soft. And sometimes I prefer like a little harder brush to do my bronzer, but it is very soft. I think this would be better for powder, but I mean, I figured I'll try it today. It is very nice though. It's Aesthetica brush, and I do love the Aesthetica makeup sponge. Oh my gosh, that guys, that is great. That is better than the Beauty Blender, and it's like a third of the price. Okay, and then I'm going to use my one of my favorite blush palettes which I have shown you guys before this is from Tarte so I'm not going to go into a lot of details and I'm going to use the Live which I think it's got a little more peach in it since my look is peach well, not peach but kind of bronzy on the peachy side and I'm just going to use a little You know, um, when I put blush on in person, I can see it a lot, quite a bit on my mirror. But when I do my videos, most of the time it looks like I'm not wearing any blush. I look like kind of pale. So, and I don't, I don't, I hate to put it on any darker. I think you can see that. Okay, and now for highlighter, I'm going to use one from the palette. These don't have colors or shades on them. Uh, if it has it on the back, I don't see it. But, so, if we have this one here, which is a little darker, and then the one at the bottom, which is a little more champagne, I'm gonna use this one right here. The lighter one. Hopefully this is not too bright. And I usually do my highlighter on the back. I don't go towards the front because I have a large pores. And it will show them even more. It will highlight them for sure. <laughs> and I don't think that's what we, we want to do with highlight. So uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I do like it subtle. I can see it. It went on very smoothly and it looks pretty in person. I think you can see this side even more than the other one. Maybe it's the lighting. Or maybe I put more on this side. Who knows? But it's very pretty. I can see it on this side too. 
So let's see if this is dry, if I can take this off. Where's my spoolie? There we go. There we go. Right off and down from down here. Okay. All right. Extra mascara off. So I'm going to use, let me wipe my hands. I'm going to use a little bit of highlighter on my inner corner of the eye. I'm going to use the same color, this one right here. Just a little bit right there. Now that didn't go, that didn't do, um, really didn't stick to my inner corner. It kind of went all over the place. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe with a brush. Let's see if we can do this with a brush. I'm going to use a little pencil brush. I didn't like the way it went on with the finger. And usually most highlighters or shadows will go on very smoothly on the inner corner. I think it did okay with a brush. So note to self, use a brush. It's not that powdery. It's very nice. But for some reason I didn't do a good job with the finger. Okay, so this is the um, the look with these products. And the last thing that I received from BoxyCharm was a lip gloss. So I'm going to do my lips. I put a little bit of a lip balm on my lips before we started. This is a... Sonia Kashuk and is Rosewood and I love her lip liner it's a very good quality and very inexpensive they're like I think like seven eight dollars but Target doesn't carry her makeup anymore they only carry uh, like brushes and things like that they don't carry any makeup can see. Sorry guys, I get engrossed in my uh, in my look in the mirror and I forget that you guys may not be able to see. Okay, so this is the lip liner and um, another may, um, brand that has really nice lip liners is the uh, NYX. So I do have quite a few NYX lip liners. So this is the Infallible, since the other one is just a gloss, this is the Infallible Paints by L'Oreal. And this is in the color 312 Nude Star. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on my lips and then use the gloss. These are very easy to put on these lipsticks. As you can see, it has a great uh, applicator. And these are matte, but they're pretty comfortable. They do last a long time. This is a very pretty shade. It's like um, rose, but with a little bit of brown in it. So I think it looks good with the look. I always feel like my lips are crooked. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the uh, lip gloss on top and let's see what that does. kind of smells like um, caramel, caramel. My Cuban gets in my way sometimes. It's a Clara-ism. It's a little strong scent, um, sweet scent, but I don't smell it now that it's on my lips. But I think that's very pretty. So this is a look that I created with um, the palette, the Solstice palette. 
and uh, then with some of the products from the BoxyCharm. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you. See you soon, guys. Bye.